Hello, this is Brian Powell. I am near the San Mateo Canyon Wilderness, and my goal for today, folks, is to hike up to San Mateo Peak, an unofficially named peak, which is the high point of the Elsinore Mountains. The Elsinore Mountains are a portion or a sub range of the parent Santa Ana Mountains. The Elsinore Mountains high point is 3,591 feet and it's unofficially named San Mateo Peak because of its presence in the area of the San Mateo Canyon Wilderness and it's the highest peak I believe it's the highest peak south of Main Divide so this should be a good hike I believe it's about four miles round trip give or take and I think it's only supposed to be about 800 feet elevation gain so this should be a pretty relaxing, very mellow, and beautiful hike through some very nice woodlands and chaparral. See you on the trail. Here I am, about ready to take the trail to San Mateo Peak. I am on South Main Divide Road, which is, if you're heading in from Orange County on Highway 74, you're going to make a right, and this road is paved. I could have probably went to the Morgan Trailhead, but looking on Google Maps, I couldn't find a trail that went from the Morgan Trailhead to the trail to San Mateo Peak. So what I'm going to do is I'm parked maybe about a quarter, less than a quarter of a mile, maybe about a quarter of a mile from the Morgan Trailhead. I'm, my car is parked a little bit up the hill behind those scrub oak shrubs. I'm going to go over this little railing here. I'm going to go over this, I guess this might have been a fire break or something here, and I'm going to head towards that trail over there. Um, I tried this hike once before, but I screwed up, and I was supposed to come to a fork and turn right. However, I turned left, and I didn't quite make it to San Mateo Peak but I did make it through stretches of absolutely stunning coast live oak woodland, Quercus agrifolia, variety agrifolia. Probably the most common tree found here in the Santa Anas, especially in the lower and mid elevations. Here we are about 2,800 feet. I'm just watching my footing. Now, my trail should be off, I believe, to my right. When I went the first time, I went left through thick chaparral and live oak woodlands. But I'm going to try going off to the right and see if this takes me to San Mateo Peak. See you soon with more updates and findings. Hello, this is Brian again. I am heading through the second area of Oak Woodland. I should soon be coming to the trail junction that should branch off to the right to take me towards San Mateo Peak. It's a very lovely area. Nice bit of shade, especially since the weather is kind of warm today. Definitely warmer than when I went to the Sit and Peak hike almost two weeks ago. This is a very, very lovely stretch of trail. I highly recommend this hike, even without going to the peak. Whether going to the peak or not, it doesn't matter, because you're going to see some nice stuff here. I believe we are near the boundary of the San Mateo Canyon Wilderness. Speaking of manzanitas from earlier, here is a big berry manzanita, Arctostophilus glauca. It's starting to develop its fruits, which are technically called droops because they have seed stones in the middle. There's a lot more at the beginning of the trail when you cross over that rusty fence. You'll go through 
some areas where the manzanita is pretty thick, mixed in with hoary leaf ceanothus, ceanothus crassifolius, variety crassifolius. Here's a nice specimen of scrub oak, Quercus berberitifolia. I will see you later at the junction of the trails. See you soon. Hello, this is Brian again. I just crossed over a small creek bed after another stretch of live oak woodland. Before entering this next stretch here, you're going to find a Y intersection, like the letter Y. This is the junction where you're going to make a hard right towards this direction, towards some more woodland, and then it should soon start to bear to the left as we start getting ready to head towards the peak. I will give you more updates very soon. Enjoy the scenery, enjoy the mountains. Please take this hike. I highly recommend it. Hello people again. This is Brian. I have come to an yet another junction after that hard right. Here's the trail sign pointing towards San Mateo Peak. And as I've already been made aware through seeing other people's pictures and hiking blogs and videos, you're going to start seeing toy dinosaurs staked up to posts. So now I am on my way. So when you get to this junction, you're going to bear over to your left. So, I came from this way. You're going to make a left turn at a cairn and a, some random def half deflated basketball. And this is the trail. See you soon. As soon as I find some more interesting tidbits and updates as I head through the last stretch of woodland before hitting the chaparral. See you soon. Enjoy this heart leaf penstamen. Kekiella cordifolia. Enjoy. See you soon. Hello, this is Brian again. I've only come up a short distance, but after a short amount of time on the San Mateo Peak Trail, the trail gets kind of rutted, so your footing might be a little awkward. So just watch your step. Poles would probably help. And here's a laurel sumac, Malusma laurina, formerly known as Rus laurina. It is related to the other sumacs, like the sugar sumac, aka sugar bush, and lemonade sumac, aka lemonade berry. I will see you with further updates. Well, let me leave you with this. Salvia mellifera. Black sage starting to bloom. Sign of the season. There's my destination, San Mateo Peak. So I got a little bit more to go. But so far, this hike isn't too hard. I'd say moderate. But we'll see how the rest of it goes. See you with more updates. Hello, this is Brian again. So you can see I'm still hiking my way up. Found the second dinosaur. Wonder how many more there will be going up, but... It's hard to tell exactly which one of these is the peak, but... I'll find out soon enough. As I head through quite a sweaty stretch here. The chaparral's a little more... more uh, of a shorter stature, so it's very exposed to the sun here. But the smell of sage is invigorating, and the smell of blue curls, which is in the mint family, related to the sage, has narrower leaves and also has a very distinct minty smell. I passed by a quite a large population of them coming here. 
If I see more, I'll let you know. Here's slender sunflower, just sprouting up its new spring leaves. Helianthus gracilentus. Or the Parrish's blue curls. Both species are reportedly found here in the Santa Anas. I believe I have seen both the woolly blue curls, Trichostema lanatum, and the Parrish's blue curls, Trichostema parishi. Yes, I pronounce the two I's at the end like E. Most people say EI, but E is actually closer to the Latin, or at least the classical Latin pronunciation when you double your eyes like that at the end. So my pronunciation may vary quite differently, but I do mean the same plant. Um, when I see the blue curls again, I will make a note of it. I won't, personally, I won't be able to tell until the blue curls are flowering which specific species it is because Parrish's blue curls, the flower stems are so fuzzy that they obscure the flower stalk and Parrish's blue curls, you're supposed to get a better view of the flower stalk. So if I come across that in bloom, which I believe it's a little too early, probably looking more towards mid-April to mid-May, or later May, for that. Here's a view towards San Jacinto, 10,834 feet, San Gorgonio, 11,502 feet, and in the center of the frame, off in the hazy distance, is Toro Peak, 8,716 feet. I'm coming up to my next incline here. And enjoying the beautiful views, not only of the surrounding areas, but of the mountains here themselves. Going up this little, little, little steep little stretch here. All the new leaves on the scrub oaks and all the other chaparral plants and the developing flower stalks on Adenostoma fasciculatum, variety fasciculatum, which is the common chemise, makes for an interesting shot. And here's bird's foot fern, Pelaya mucronata, variety mucronata. And more of the trail. The bright green of the chaparral is so evident from even driving on the highway because everything is just bright green with new growth. This rainy season, well at least the first half of the rainy season was very wet, but ever since February things started drying out quite dramatically and we haven't had significant rain since the latter part of February. Possible to get some in the middle of next week. The amounts don't look too good. So this area has been in a pretty decent drying trend in the last month and a half. Or I should say more, more of a half of a month. But here we come up to a very steep downhill part. So if you're going to hike this, Keep in mind, you will have to regain this on the way back. And like I said, please watch your step. The soil here is kind of loosely packed and it's very slippery. They're coming up on some more scrub oak. Chaparral is getting a little thicker here, a little more shade. And here's golden yarrow, Aerophyllum confertiflorum, variety confertiflorum. I would say in the next month or so, we should expect some nice yellow blooms from that. Just watch your step going on this trail. Some of this trail is kind of loose. Soil doesn't make for very comfortable footing. However, it does make for some very lush 
beautiful chaparral scenery. It looks like I'm gonna have another little downhill right here. This is where trekking poles probably would have been a better idea. So I'll see you down the trail for a couple more updates and finds. I'm coming up to some very lush chaparral. I will see you soon. After all that elevation I lost, regained most of it. Starting to come across some southern Tausia, Tausia arguda, which is in the carrot family. As you can see, the umbiliferous head of flowers. I've been seeing quite a bit of it this year. I believe it's supposed to be a perennial plant. So it probably grows during the winter and spring and it probably goes dormant by some point in the summer after setting seed and looks dead for a nice chunk of the year. Coming up on a steeper spot here, very rutted trail, so watch your footing here. Normally I try to waddle both sides of it. There's another southern Tausia. And now we got the Eastwoods Manzanita. Arctostaphylos glandulosa subspecies glandulosa. Kind of left the big berries behind. And now I'm just carefully making my way up these ups and downs, which are a little bit intense. I wouldn't say strenuous, but it'll definitely get you catching your breath quite often. I'll see you with further updates. Enjoy.